Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, we'll look at how to sign in to an Outlook email account on the web. Let's get straight into it. I've opened my web browser and I'm on the Google Search homepage. I'm using a Chrome web browser, but the process will be the same for any other browser you prefer to use. The first thing I want to do is search for the Outlook email login page. This is simple to do. I'll just quickly add the phrase Outlook Web Login into the search box and tap the return key on my keyboard to run that search. On doing that, a number of links to web pages are displayed. I'm going to choose the very first link shown for Microsoft Outlook just by clicking on it once. We're now on the home page for Outlook on the web. There are a number of links we can click on in this page, but we're interested in the small blue Sign into Outlook link. On clicking on that, we're then taken to the first part of the Microsoft login page. The specific location of this web page is also shown on screen. You can just type this into your web browser to go here directly without having to search for it. Now, as I've used this computer before to log on to my Outlook account, my browser has remembered my wogglegides at outlook.com email address and pre-populated it. Don't worry if your email address isn't shown automatically. You can still type it in manually. Once you're happy that your email address has been added correctly, just click on the large blue next button to continue. We're then taken to the password page. As on the previous page, just type in your password. And once you're happy it's correct, tap on the large blue sign in button to confirm it. As part of the login process, you may be asked if you want the web browser to remember your login details and keep you logged in. If you're using a public computer or a computer you don't have sole access to, you should choose not to stay logged in to ensure your Outlook email account remains secure. In my case, I'm happy to stay logged in, so I'll choose not to show this message again and confirm it by clicking on the large blue yes button. Your inbox for Outlook on the web will then be loaded by your web browser. You have now signed in to Outlook on the web. I hope you found this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this guide or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.